Anyone will remember the coachman's horrific grin in Pinocchio, followed by the painful-looking donkey transformation? What about the infamous segment from Fantasian with the enormous demon on Bald Mountain, or Dun Dumbo's Duncan, Dun drunken pink elephant hallucinations that scared us away from drinking alcohol? If you were frightened by any of the above scenes, or any similar scene in a Disney film, be thankful that you never saw the, pa the pathway to hell. Never heard of it? Don't worry, because I can't find a single person online who has it. I only saw it once, when I was 6 or 7, during the mid to late 90s. I remember my mom bringing it back with a random thrift, sh th thrift shop and putting it on for me. I know for sure it was a Disney film because it was explicitly remember seeing the Disney logo on the VHS cover and previews for other Disney films before the actual d film started. The That film terrifying the ever-living shit out of me. I remember constantly covering my eyes and praying it would be over soon, but I couldn't stop watching it anyway. I felt drawn to it, like a moth like to a flame. Despite me feeling increasingly frightened more and more as the film continued. The film was about a pair of kids, a boy and a girl, who lived on a farm with their grandparents who was somewhere over in the Uni northern United States, like Montana. They were told by their grandfather not to visit the well on the far side of the yard. The kids disobeyed their grandfather and visited anyway. A bunch of demons came up out of nowhere came out of nowhere well stole the boy's head and now the girl had to go down and find it the first few minutes of the film was animated in a typical cutesy Disney style but after the girl went down to hell and yes they did ref refer it as just that it suddenly switched to a more twisted and surreal appearance Similar to that of Stephen Gemmell's infamous illustra illustrations for the Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark series. I still remember how hell was depicted in the film perfectly. It was mostly gray with a few reds and blues in here and there. The, rock, the rocks looked like skulls and the trees looked like hands. The latter constantly grabbed... O constantly reach over and try to grab the girl as she ran through all this with a terrified expression. Throughout the film, the girl constantly in, constantly encountered various obstacles. Some of them, some of the demons she met ended up helping her, while others were less helpful. There was no possible way of knowing who was friend or foe. The first creature she met was some sort of like eyeless pig rat bug thing that made a screaming laughing sound that like a demonic Donald Duck as it tore away the girl's dress, and she was ended up sp ended up spending the majority of their film in her underwear. I don't remember most. Mo I don't remember most of the of the other obstacles she encountered, save for the kitten eater. The kitten eater was an enormous, pale-skinned, obese being uh, that sat on a chair clearly too small for him. He had no facial features other than a pair of black. Uh, pair of black jelly blob eyes and an enormous wide smile filled with sharp teeth. True to his name, he had a cage full of adorable blue-eyed kittens drawn all over in the traditional Disney style, sitting next to his chair. The kittens were all mewing in a heart-wrenchingly heart realistic manner as the kitten eater would reach down in the cage, pull out a frightened kitten, and pop it into his mouth and chew it up with a sound of crunching bones. Or even... even I even remember him wiping away blood in one shot. I remember when the when the girl saw the kitten eater. He spoke to her in a in this horrible, deep, distorted sounding voice, lower than any human voice I'd ever heard. Before grabbing her by the back of her panties and striding to swallow her. There was also the devil itself. I use it because I couldn't tell if it was male or female. I remember having it long stringing hair, a pale corpse-like corp, corpse skin, thinly stretched over a lanky skeleton, uh, empty black eye sockets, and sharp fang-like teeth. It spoke in a horrible high-pitched screeching voice that sounded like a, a lot of horrible screaming. Screaming, screaming s sound red foxes made, except forming words. 
I remember when there being a strange song that that played as the devil and his minions tossed the boy's severed head around in one scene. Speaking of which, there's that's another thing I remember quite vividly. See, the boy's head was was alive when it was separated from his body. As the devil held the head, it cried and begged the devil to return to its body. I also remember the film constantly cutting back to the farm where the headless boy continued to walk around, picking up random stuff like rocks and placing them on its neck tr stump trying to replace its old head. I never got to the scene where the girl finally makes it to where the devil is keeping her brother's head. My mom came in and saw what was going on in the movie. Then she noticed me looking petrified as they continued to stare at the screen. I think she then realized that this film was too much for me as I took as she took it out of the VCR. Put it back in its case and returned to the store. So I didn't get to see how the movie ended. I never saw or heard anything about that film ever again. I never had found another copy of it, neither if I can find any information on the internet. It just seems to vanish from existence, despite being from probably from the most famous animation company on the planet. But I still remember the film explicitly well. Even 20 years later, it's been haunting for me for years. Right before I wrote this, my, I asked my mom about the film and she said she remembered it too but didn't know anything about it, which proves I didn't imagine or dream it. I have no idea where that VHS of the film is now, or, it, it, or even if there's more than one copy. If you have the copy of the film, please provide proof of some kind, like a screen, screen cap or a picture of the cover, so just so that I can show the, the world that I'm not crazy and that Disney's most nightmarish animation film really existed. Well, that's the most obscure Disney film, a random lost Disney movie creepypasta. My final thoughts on the story? The story was actually somewhat decent, and it's something I actually kind of liked. Now, if you don't know, I have narrated this before, and here, I, here now I, here I am reviewing it. You've probably heard this story from other narrators, like the formidable robot in Sane's Guard. But anyway, what I liked about this is the fact that there are demons in the story, but they were put into something actually pretty good. Yes, demons aren't necessary for creepypastas nowadays, but this story describes these demons as actually something horrifying and just downright scary looking if you think about it. Just, just think about it. Just, yeah. Which for some reason did it better than most other Lost episodes when using demons. Because when they mostly use it, those demons or the devil would turn into nothing but some shitty edge or material. Yeah. You heard me right. But, this story at least described the devil and the demons as from hell as something out of a bizarre nightmare. Funny enough, this reminds me of the nightmare scene from one of my favorite foreign movies, Felidae. Uh, what else? The grammar's decent and so all such. Now, is there any problems with this story? Sure, because I'm, I think the, I don't have the copy of the movie anymore and nobody can find it might be a cliche and unfortunately could add a minus point to your creepypasta or something. But other than that, anyway, if, if you agree or disagree with my opinion, that's fine. Uh, what else? Uh, we're, we're, we're all titled to our own opinions. My final rating of the story is a 7 out of 10. It's a, it's a decent creepypasta from Reddit, surprisingly. And yes, the story is from Reddit. Anyway, I'm out.